Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate adding items to a quote. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the quote we created in the last video, and that's going to open up the quote for edit. This is the room screen, and along the top you'll see a list of all of the rooms for this quote. Now this room list was determined by the project type that was selected when we created this quote in the previous video. Same with the systems that you see listed here. These are the defaults that were part of that project type. You could also click the systems button along the bottom of the interface to go over to the systems view, and here you'll see the systems listed along the top. Once again, you can scroll if you want to, and then the rooms will list in the main part of the screen. You can add items from either one of these interfaces. I've gone back to the room screen now. I'm going to go ahead and select living room along the top, and then click the add items button in the audio system. And that will open up this little drawer on the side here. It defaults to suggested items, and what you're going to see here are any items that you've synced from SI that are assigned to the audio system. Here we can see a bunch of packages in this list. Down at the bottom, you'll see some categories, and if you click a category, you'll then see the subcategories that will list. If you want to go back, go ahead and click back. Of course, you can scroll up and down. You can also search right here if you're looking for a particular product. In this case, what I'm going to go ahead and do is that a pair of bookshelf speakers medium? That's a package, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on that, and that's going to be added to the audio system in the living room. Now, if I couldn't find what I was looking for with the suggested items, I can always click the All Items button along the top here, and this will list all of the items that have been synchronized down from SI. When you're done adding items, you can click the little black X here, and that will close the drawer. You can also add items to multiple rooms at a time. Regardless of what room you have selected along the top, if you choose a system, and in this case we'll stick with audio, and I'm going to choose uh, to click the Add Items button. That will pull out the item drawer here. I'm going to choose a pair of in-wall speakers, and this time I'm going to tap and hold the item. That's going to open up the Add to Multiple Rooms dialog. Here you can change the quality from Good, Better, or Best along the top, or you could just start adding these to the different locations by hitting the Plus button. So we'll go ahead and add one to the kitchen, one to the dining room, and one to the office. Go ahead and click Done, and those items have been added to the following locations. I'll go ahead and close the item drawer. You can also add items to the system screen, so we'll go ahead and click that button along the bottom of the interface, and you could choose a system along the top, and then choose which location you'd like to add an item to. In this case, if we chose living room and clicked add items, you'll see that the uh, item drawer will open. And once again, you can tap on an item or search for an item or tap and hold if you'd like to add this to multiple rooms. Once again, I'll go ahead and close the item drawer. Let me go here to the audio system. If you'd like to edit an item that is in the quote already, just go ahead and tap on that item and that will open up the details for it. It will show the unit price, the labor hours associated with this. It will also show you a breakdown of equipment, labor, and install price. You can add a comment if you'd like for a particular item, and when you're done, go ahead and click Done. And that's how you add items to a quote inside of Mobile Quote.